All right, team. Hello, the comrades. Uh, Danny Chu here. So today we are going to take a look at how to put together one of our um, Gemini simplicity kits. So this is um, Gemini over here. He's uh, not really shy today uh, because he doesn't mind showing you his um, manly boobs. Um, no, it's because we don't have anything for him to wear. So, um, so this is what he looks like over here. Okay, and I'm going to put him down over here for a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to show you what um, the kit looks like. So uh, this is um, the, the the torso over here. Okay, and um, the limbs will be um, packed like so. So this is what the packaging looks like right now, uh, but it may change um, in the future. Okay, the limbs over here, and these are his uh, manly boobs over here. Okay, has it? Yeah, he's got like headlights on them, so um, if you wear a tight t-shirt on him, he'll look like cold all the time. Okay. And uh, this is a um, this is his head wrapped in a fruit cap. So in Japan, um, they like wrapping things in like a little cups like this. Okay. And um, this is his wig. Okay. So this is not styled. You have to style this yourself. We'll show you how to style it in a different video. And. Um, this is a sponge over here, and this is used for rubbing his various parts of his body. Okay, if you if they're too shiny, okay. And um, and there's a telescopic stand which is missing. Um, I'm going to borrow it from what's the name? Monday T. So this is a telescopic stand over here. Actually, I tell you what, I'm going to get another one from um, over there. Actually, um, Alphonse, do you mind grabbing me a, a telescopic stand from um, over there? So that's Alphonse, uh, he's going to grab me a stand. And then these, um, the boxer shorts over here. So these are not actually included, uh, but um, I'm going to put them on, otherwise he's going to, um, he, he may feel a little bit shy showing you his feet. And um, this is the telescopic stand over here. So I discreetly pulled off this thing over here. I wasn't going to talk about this. Well, this is actually a turbo joint. And uh, what you do is you stick it on the back of the telescopic joint, and then you can actually uh, move it up and down. So it gives you a little bit more range of um, possibility, possibilities. All righty. So um, I am going to put this away because uh, I'm sure I've forgotten something. I have, um, completely unrehearsed. Um, I've got all the bits and pieces over here. So I've got his torso, I've got his um, shins, um, his arms, his um, man boobs, on oh, this big stand, which I completely forgot about. And I love these boxes over here. Have you seen these boxes? Have a look at, have a look at these boxes. So these boxes, um, so I've discovered these recently, really recently. And you can just like fold them like so and they collapse like this. And so when you're not using them, you can like store them away. It's um, quite useful. And um, we need a head, don't we? We need a head. So I've got, I'm gonna use this one over here. And um, put this over here. And grab this sponge over here. Okay, so uh, let's whiz through this. So we're gonna start off with, um, let's start off with the, um, the sponge sandpaper. So we use this for when we're preparing um, the vinyl. So the vinyl, it may be a little bit shiny in some places, uh, like for the arm, for example. So what you can do is you can actually use this, um, use the, the purple side, and then brush very gently against um, the vinyl. Then you will get rid of uh, like any, um, any or most of the, the shiny stuff um, on it. So sometimes when you handle a vinyl doll, uh, if you go outside, take them outside, um, you they may get um, some like um, sweat from your hands onto their body and uh, it'll leave like a, this really weird like shine on it. So you can actually use this um, to remove it. So it's, um, it's, um, it's really handy to like um, carry around with you. Okay, so what we can do is, uh, we're gonna take the torso over here, okay. And um, we're going to put the, um, the shins in. So the shins will rattle around like this um, until you like um, put them in. So what I'm going to do is make sure this is at a 90 degree angle like so. Okay. And um, so there's a, a frame inside of here. So if you wiggle around his 
sorry, um, you'll notice that there is the, the frame inside of here. Okay, so this needs this shaft needs to go into that um, the frame, the, the the socket inside. Okay. All right, so this is his um, left foot over here. So um, hold it at this, hold it over here, not over here. Okay. Then what you need to do is you need to aim for the hole. And then once you've got it in the hole, you need to... So um, when in doubt, give it a wriggle. So that's the, the tagline. When in doubt, give it a wriggle. So um, if you are in Tokyo, okay, um, after the pandemic, okay, and um, you're lost, you know, in Tokyo, in um, what's um, Shinjuku Station? Oh god, it's like really confusing, like even for locals. If in doubt, you know, you're just looking for the train, just start wriggling, okay, and um, the answers will come to you. So, um, so that's what you do. Okay, so um, what you do is wriggle it in. So, if I try to push it in like this, then I'm going to have a, tar uh, a hard time. Um, so I'm going to wriggle it left and right like this, and that's like so easy. <laughs> it's like so easy. It's um, it's incredible. But it's thanks to the power of wriggling. Okay. All right. See, so I'm going to grab the other um, shin over here. Aim for the socket. Make sure it goes into the socket. If it doesn't and you miss the socket completely, then his leg is going to just um, fall off. So that goes in here. Mm. Okay, and then um, once again, wriggle, really slowly. Wriggle, like this. Okay, just like that. Okay, so, um, and then he will stand up like so. Actually, what I forgot to do is, um, so, he's, um, Gemini at this point, and I know he's not really completed, um, he looks, uh, a bit too pleased to see everyone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some um, boxer shorts um, on him, so so that he can um, hide the fact that he's pleased to see you all. Okay, so let's do that like this. Although it may be obvious from outside, it's just not so not so obvious if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to bend his legs like so. And I'm going to plonk on the bust, like this. Alrighty. Now, um, the next part is to um, plug in the hand. So these are like, um, they're quite difficult to do actually. It's, uh, it's a bit of a pain. So um, what you need to do is you need to make sure that um, you squeeze the top of the um, shoulder over here. So that this, um, so that this slot kind of like grabs hold of the shaft over here. Um, because if I don't, the shaft may just like um, start sinking in to um, the shoulder like this, and we don't want that. So make sure you grab hold of the shoulder over here. Try to use as much force as possible. Okay. Once you've done that, you need to aim for the. Um, the shoulder slot over here. So I think this is the old shoulder because I think the new one, um, the hole is a bit bigger, but um, I need to go and confirm later on. But anyway, um, so we need to get this in there, okay? So, I'm gonna try to align up the hole like so, and hold the shoulder. Grab hold of um, the arm, and then just like, um, try to like um, slot in. And then you'll hear of uh, you hear like um, somewhat of a click. Okay, let's do it for the other side. Again, hold the shoulder so that this plug, um, the shaft doesn't fall in. Um, make sure you aim for the hole over here. Okay, and then just um, hold on. And then just plug it in like so. And then you hear like um, like a very dull click. And then that's the sign. That's when you know that um, everything is in place. Okay. Then what you do next is you, uh, I've got like a few minutes left. Um, you put the body down over here. And then um, if you happen to have a sand crawler Lego, what you'll do is you put that um, in front of you like so. Okay. And then um, you'll open the front over here and then you pull out the little jawas like so. Then you can like lower the, um, 
this, this bay, this docking, like this. And then you can like make the special effect noises that you do when um, you know, you know, when you're playing with Lego. So. And then the, your Jawas, they can come up to play, and um, they'll make their noises like um, and um, then you lie them on this ramp over here, and then you um, roll it up like so. Then you'll um, turn it around, and then you'll um, play the, the music that plays when the, the sand crawler is rolling off. <clears throat> Actually, I think that was the Ewoks song, wasn't it? Was that the Ewoks or was that Jarvis? Like, I can't remember. Maybe it's both. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so once you've done that, you can now put on the head over here. So, um, so take out the head over here. All right. Now, um, one thing I need to mention is that the wig over here is um, it's cut, but it's not been um, styled. So, if you want it to look like this, then you need to add just a little bit of mousse um, to the edges of his um, hair. So, um, this is exactly the same thing, but you just need to like put a little bit of mousse over here if you want him to look um, like this. Okay, but if you like your boys looking like you know they've just got out of bed, um, then um, you can keep it just like so. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to use this wig over here. You place it on your um, palm like so. Okay, you take the head and then you wriggle it in. So remember, when in doubt, you give it a little wriggle, and then you wriggle it in like this. Mm -hmm. And then um, hold the head like so. Do this really, really slowly and really firmly. Otherwise, the head will like um, go flying out the window, and um, it's um, it's going to be a mess. And then what you do is you grab the back of the wig and then you pull it down like so. Okay. Make sure there's like no kinks in it. And um, that looks very cute. Oh. Okay. So that's that. And then what you do next is you um, kneel him down like so. Okay. Um, where possible, try to like do it on a soft surface. Otherwise, um, you may like um, dent the the knees over here. And if you do, all you need to do is take a hair dryer, um, just heat up the surface. Uh, don't heat your hands or your friends. Um, you you want to heat this bit over here. Okay. And then just. Um, Again, wriggle it on. So, again, don't try to push it down um, as hard as you can. The, ho the hole is small, and the reason is, if it isn't small, um, it'll do the, the normal, um, what you call it, the spinning head of doom. And um, it's, um, it's, not really, uh, it's not a great sight to look at. So, again, wriggle. And then there you go. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is show you how to use the telescopic stand. So I'm going to give him a pose and then start talking about um, his um, bits and pieces. So here's a stand over here. Um, don't push it in all the way. <laughs> oh, hey. Um, so, welcome back. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm saying welcome back all of a sudden, it's because um, the sound channel got hijacked and um, the sound just like completely cut out and there was a, like this strange person speaking and um, so we didn't want uh, any strange person speaking um, because it would have been out of sync with um, what I was saying and that, you know, that may have confused a, um, a few people. Anyway, so uh, at the point where my, <laughs> my voice got hijacked, um, I'm going to continue off. So um, this telescopic sound mm -hmm. and it'll make this noise. Okay, but um, you can't open it and close it too quickly because it may like snap um, in, the middle of, uh, in the middle of here. And as soon as it snaps, then you may cry. Okay, so um, stick it into the support socket over here. Okay, but don't push it in all the way. Just like leave 
um, a gap over here so that you can swing it, <laughs> so that you can swing it left and right. Now I'm talking about the stand over here, right? Just swing it. And um, so yeah, you can like swing it left and right. And that's very important so that when you take photos, you can hide it behind um, the leg like so. So I don't know whether from your camera angle that's hidden. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's how you support a smart dog with um, three points of um, support. So one at the back of here. And then with the um, feet, just have them pointing down ever so slightly so that you have this really, really um, sturdy, sturdy, sturdy pose over here. Um, the shoulder, uh, I wanted to um, just set expectations. Um, so the shoulder over here, um, some people say it looks a bit odd. Um, yeah, it looks odd. And, uh, that's because we've desi we designed this like uh, many, many moons ago and the, we just like stuck with the design and uh, we didn't really have any resources um, or cash flow to like um, redesign everything. So, uh, but um, we are thinking of um, redesigning um, everything. Well, we will fix this like bit over here. It, it kind of like looks a bit, it just look, looks a bit weird. Um, some people think um, the legs over here look a bit weird. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't think they look too bad, but um, yeah, so some people are, um, they're not really happy with these. So um, we'll, we'll take a look and um, figure out what needs changing. Um, the shins over here, they do wobble like so. And now this is absolutely normal. And the reason is because this is a vinyl shell which just rests on a, um, a frame that goes inside. And that is by design. Um, if this was an injection molded part, we could control the look of um, what it looks like on the inside. But with slush casting, you have like absolutely no control of what things look like on the inside. And um, the vital part is controlled by um, things like how long you heat the part in the vat of oil. And um, if you heat it for a long time, um, it becomes th thicker. If you heat it for a short time, it becomes um, uh, thinner and so on. And um, so yeah, so, so that's why that's, um, that's absolutely normal. Um, so some people think that the guys have um, small feet and um, I guess because they are small, <laughs> but uh, they can wear um, our range of boots, um, like this pair of boots over here, which is the lace uh, boots, Nubak, uh, they call it Nubak, is it Nubak? Nubak Black. And um, so yeah, um, they can wear um, these boots. Um, there's one thing to mention over here. So his um, chest does wobble around over here and um, that's um, really normal. Um, so some folks, for some reason, they like shaking their smart dolls. So they like shake them and they go, oh Danny, that's, um, the, the chest is all wobbly because um, um, there's something wrong with my smart doll and it's, it's, it's because they're not designed to be shaken or stirred. And um, so yeah, if you need a doll that you need to shake, um, we recommend maybe some, maybe some other brands. They have like dolls which you can like shake, uh, but dolls, you shouldn't really shake them uh, because um, they remember things. Right? And um, yeah, it's just, it's not, good. it's not a nice thing to do, like shaking dolls. Anyway, so um, yeah, if you shake them, um, the chest will like wobble back and forth and um, they're going to remember each time they end up wobbling back and forth. And um, um, it's just, yeah, you, should, you, shouldn't, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't shake it off. Okay, but um, yeah, they, they do wobble um, a little bit over here. Uh, so that's it for now. And um, so we'll see you in the next video where I'll be like um, um, unboxing or dismembering um, a smart dog. Uh, but definitely not shaking one. Okay, bye.